get started. See me, we're trying to figure that out. Okay, I think we're good to go. The connection's a little bit slow because of the rain outside, but we just have to learn how to be flexible and that's okay. Okay, so the first book that I'm going to read today is called Planting a Rainbow by Lois Ellert. Look at the beautiful illustrations on the cover of that book. Orange and red and green, really beautiful colors. Hi, Miss Lisa. Miss Lisa's joining us as always. Planting a rainbow. Let's see what happens. Every year, Mom and I plant a rainbow. What does that mean? In the fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. So bulbs are a special kind of seed that you plant in the fall and over the winter they get, they get nice and cozy in the dirt and in the spring they shoot up sprouts and pretty flowers. So let's see what kind of flowers come from bulbs. We have a tiger lily, a tulip, a daffodil, an iris, a crocus, lots of different colors. Hi, Miss Kat and Kellen um, and Lena. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. Look at all of those beautiful flowers they're going to plant in their garden. Phlox, morning glory, zinnias, aster, cornflower, marigolds, and daisies. Now I've seen a lot of these planted in Oklahoma. We see a lot of marigolds and daisies in Oklahoma. For spring to warm the soil and sprout the bulbs. <gasps> see, remember I told you the bulbs were the seeds. So here they are, they sat all winter long. Now they're putting on their roots and putting on their shoots. So we've got a red tulip, an orange tulip, a yellow daffodil, a blue hy hyacinth, uh, and a purple crocus. Look at all of those colors. When it's time to go to the garden center to select some seedlings, do you like to go to the garden center with your parents? That's fun for me. We sow the seeds and set out the plants in soil. Oh, they've got all kinds of things. They've got a rose bush, they planted some violets, carnations, phlox, poppies, pansies, and all different kinds of colors. I see red, orange, yellow, blue, green, and purple. They're planting a rainbow. And watch the rainbow grow. Look at everything is getting big and growing lots of beautiful colors. And grow and grow. I see a rainbow of colors. Red, orange, yellow, blue, purple. Look at all of those beautiful colors. <gasps> oh my gosh, we're gonna see all of the different colors. We have some red flowers. So they have tulips, carnations, and a rose. <gasps> orange flowers, another tulip. Tulips come in all different kinds of colors zinnias, tiger lilies, and a poppy. And some yellow blooms, daffodils, marigolds, and daisies. We grow something green. These are ferns. Lots of plants are green. And some blue flowers morning glories, delphiniums, hyacinth, and cornflower. Look at all of those blue flowers. And some purple. 
purple flowers too. Crocus, phlox, iris, violets, aster, and a pansy. There are lots of purple flowers. Purple is one of my favorite colors for flowers. What's your favorite color? Hi, Cassie Casey. <laughs> All summer long, we pick them and we bring them home. So when you grow flowers like this, you can either leave them in the ground or you can cut them and bring them inside to have something beautiful inside of your house. And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. What a beautiful rainbow of flowers and colors. Oh, Angela, Ange, hi. <laughs> okay, so the next one I'm gonna read is called My Busy Green Garden. And this is about all of the bugs and pollinators that fly around your garden and really help make it grow and thrive. So this is a book by Terry Pierce. That means he's the author. He wrote the words in the book. My Busy Green Garden. There's lots of rhyming words in this book. See if you can help me spot the rhyming words. Oh, I already see some things buzzing around. Hummingbird, a bee, an inchworm. This is my busy green garden. See all kinds of animals, a bunny, a squirrel, some yellow butterflies, a hummingbird. There's a surprise and clever disguise that hangs in my busy green garden. <gasps> what is this? Does anybody know what this is? Hi, Melissa. <laughs> Yes, Hank, he's always so sleepy. I don't know why. He's very sleepy. Um, so does anybody know what this green thing is right here? Can you tell me what that is? Hmm, I think we're going to find out. This is a ladybug dawdling so near the surprise in clever disguise that hangs in my busy green garden. There's the ladybug. This is a honeybee buzzing below the red spotted ladybug dawdling so near the surprise in clever disguise that hangs in my busy green garden. So where's the honeybee? Here's the honeybee and here is the ladybug. And what do we think the surprise is? Hmm. This is a hummingbird fluttering round. The hurrying honeybee buzzing below. The red spotted ladybug dawdling so. Near the surprise in clever disguise that hangs in my busy green garden. So we've got a hummingbird and the bee and the ladybug. And look, they notice they're getting bigger and bigger. Tiny ladybug, then the bee's a little bit bigger, and then the hummingbird's a little bit bigger. I wonder what's next. Hi, Momo. This is an inchworm who creeps up and down, dodging the hummingbird, fluttering round. The hurrying honeybee buzzing below, the red-spotted ladybug dawdling so near the surprise in clever disguise that hangs in my busy green garden. Here's the little inchworm. So these are kind of like the worms that we learned about last week, but they live outside of the soil. They live on plants instead of underground. Ooh, he looks scary, but he's not. Let's learn about him. There is a mantis awaiting his prey Find the inchworm who creeps up and down, dodging the hummingbird, fluttering round. The hurrying honeybee buzzing below, the red-spotted ladybug dawdling so, 
Near the surprise and clever disguise that hangs in my busy green garden. Hi, Miss Haley. <laughs> okay, so we've got our praying mantis, our inchworm, our hummingbird, uh, the honeybee, and the little tiny ladybug. This is a dragonfly dashing away that startles the mantis awaiting his prey. Spying the inchworm who creeps up and down, dodging the hummingbird fluttering round, the hurrying honeybee buzzing below, and the red-spotted ladybug dawdling so, near the surprise in clever disguise that hangs in my busy green garden. These are the ants that are tracking their scout, ignoring the dragonfly dashing away that startles the mantis awaiting his prey. Spying the inchworm who creeps up and down, dodging the hummingbird fluttering round, the hurrying honeybee buzzing below, the red spotted ladybug dawdling so, near the surprise in clever disguise that hangs in my busy green garden. This garden is getting so busy. Look at all of the creatures hanging out. So we just met the ants. There's one, two, three, four, five ants. Ants like to travel in big groups. This is a grasshopper leaping about, vaulting the ants that are tracking their scout, ignoring the dragonfly dashing away that startles the mantis awaiting his prey, spying the inchworm who creeps up and down, dodging the hummingbird fluttering round, the hurrying honeybee buzzing below, the red spotted ladybug dawdling so, near the surprise in clever disguise that hangs in my busy green garden. So we just met the grasshopper. I see even more creatures to meet. This is a chickadee, hungry and quick. He chases the grasshopper, bounding about, that scatters the ants that were tracking their scout, that flee from the dragonfly dashing away, that muddles the mantis awaiting his prey, that jiggles the inchworm who creeps up and down, that flusters the hummingbird fluttering round, that angers the honeybee buzzing below, that launches the ladybug dawdling so, that bumps the surprise in clever disguise. So we met the chickadee, that's the bird, and then the grass, he startles the grasshopper, startles the dragonfly and the hummingbird, and everybody starts moving. Let's see what's gonna happen. that wriggles and writhes, then stretches and flies. Something came out of that surprise. What is it? Away from my busy green garden. That green surprise that we saw was a chrysalis. So uh, a caterpillar turned into that chrysalis and in there it became a beautiful yellow butterfly and it's flying away. Can you believe all of that was happening in that busy garden? My goodness, we got to meet lots of fun friends, bugs and animals. So I want you this week to go outside and observe your garden for all of the creatures that live out there and how they interact. So you can see bugs interacting with each other. You might see animals eating bugs. All kinds of things are happening in your garden. So I want you to observe what's happening and write down an observation and draw me a picture of how the animals and insects are interacting with each other. So that's all I have for today. Thank you for joining me for story time on this Tuesday. Hank and I really had fun with you. He is asleep and twitching. 
Um, but join me on Thursday. We'll be doing a really fun craft. All you need are some markers, a coffee filter, and a piece of paper, and pipe cleaners if you have them. If not, we'll make something work for you. So coffee filters, markers, and paper. We're gonna be making a really, really fun craft with things that you have at home um, that maybe we'll be making some of the things that we saw in our books today. So I'll see you on Thursday at two. Bye.